There is apparently one major change that has taken place in the Bears' new offense for quarterback Justin Fields this upcoming season. So what exactly is that change? Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Five Sports all back at it with another video talking, of course. So, man, if I'm here to talk about the Chicago Bears, so if you're a Bears fan, hit the big red subscribe button down below, guys. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. And as always, hit the bell icon to notified every time I drop a new video. All right, people, so... We know OTAs obviously come to an end here and the off season really has been about building relationships with regards to the new coaching staff, the new front office. And for Justin Fields to be successful in this offense, we know he has to grasp this offense pretty well. They have to tailor it around him and they have to use his strengths. Well, when I was reading some articles about how OTAs are going and about, you know, kind of the development of Justin Fields, I noticed a quote from a Bears player, a current Bears player, that I thought was very interesting, okay? And so he basically talked about Justin Fields in his quote, and that was Cole Komet, tight end Cole Komet for the Chicago Bears. He basically said, and that quote, he was asked about how Justin Fields is looking in this offense and, um, you know, how is this offense looking? Is it a quarterback-driven offense? And have the Bears done everything they can to put Justin Fields in a better position in this new offense with Offensive coordinator Luke Getze. And to that, Komet said, and I quote, I don't want to get into too much detail with it, but Justin's on the move a lot. And I think he does well with that, end quote. Um, and then continuing on, and I quote, that's been exciting to see. And you see the type of throws he can make with his legs and on the run and off schedule, end quote. So that is the one big major change in this offense. Luke Getze according to just uh, Cole Komet, excuse me, and the uh, offseason and how it's looking for the for the Bears, he has Justin Fields on the move. That is music to my ears, people. Music to my ears because that is something we just did not see enough last year with Matt Nagy. Justin Fields is a very, very solid pocket passing quarterback. But if you do not use his legs, you are not utilizing him fully. And to be able to use his legs, it's not him running with the football like a Lamar Jackson. It's him rolling out of the pocket, being on the move, and making the throws. So why this is so, so, so good to hear is because not only will it use his strength, which is his athleticism and his mobility, but also it makes reads easier. You see, for young quarterbacks, you want to make things as simple as possible. Well, how do you do that? You basically make it simple throws, simple reads, simple passes, and you cut the field in half. When Justin Fields is running out of the pocket, if it's designed, obviously it could be off a of play action, whatever the case is, you're running right or left and the field is pretty much cut in half, right? So if you're on the left side, you got the left side of the field, right side, right side of the field. It's very hard to throw across your body. We know guys like maybe Patrick Mahomes can do that, but a lot of quarterbacks can't. And so you're cutting the field in half and you're making it much easier. Now, of course, if that first read off of the play action isn't open, you want to make sure you have some backup options to, to be able to go through multiple reads. But the point is, it makes the offense simple and it makes it easier for your young quarterback. So I love hearing this. And if this is the big change, then I think this offense has a chance to be solid. They're not going to be spectacular, folks, because of the lack of talent. We know that. Hopefully there's a chance. But for the most part, if they're just solid and they improve and they're decent, I'm going to be okay with that because we know 2022 is a rebuilding year. It's not a, you know, we're a title contender year. We're an elite team year. So, the early signs is the solid relationship is being built between Luke Getze and Justin Fields because Justin Fields' strengths are being utilized. He is being used on the move. Matt Nagy made him a strict pocket passer. He would never let him roll out the pocket. Very rarely would have he have do play action. Like, I need to see all these. I need to see, you know, the design, uh, you know, handoffs, if you will, or when he pulls it back, the RPOs fakes it, goes on the left, throws it. Like, this is exactly what we need in this offense. So I'm very excited to see that. Cole Komet said it himself. He said, I don't want to get into too much detail, but Justin's on the move a lot. So I'm willing to say to you that I think for 
uh, you know, a good part of this offense, 30, 40, maybe even 50% of this offense, we will probably see Justin Fields on the move just because that's his strength, right? That's his strength. So I think we're going to see a heavy, heavy dose of it. Again, not saying I don't want him to ever sit in the pocket, but if he's got legs, let's use him. Let's use his strengths. Let's make it easier. So I'm very excited about this change. What do you guys think about what Cole Komet said about Justin Fields being used outside the pocket a lot? Leave a comment down below. As always, thanks for watching.